And welcome back. Easter is less than two weeks away. Hard to believe, but it's almost here. That means it's time, of course, for Easter egg hunts. And TheraCare Outpatient Services is planning a great one. Here to tell us about it is the owner of TheraCare, Melanie Stinnett. Now, mm. you have something special coming up. But first of all, can you just give our viewers a little thumbnail idea of what TheraCare is all about and what you do? Sure. So TheraCare is a private speech, occupational, physical, and music therapy clinic. So we offer services for children. Um, and adults to help them gain skills in all those areas. Um, and then Include Ozarks is a nonprofit that we run that started the Sensory Safe Events. Got it. Okay, so Include Ozarks is actually the one that's sort of in yes. charge of this particular event. That's right. How long have you all been around TheraCare? TheraCare's been open for five years, mm -hmm. um, and we started off just me two days a week doing speech therapy, and now we're serving many, many children. So you saw a need for something like this in the Ozarks, and yes. you've got loads and loads of patients who I know are thrilled to have somewhere to go to get help. Yes, absolutely. We saw a need just with waiting lists and, and places in town not being able to serve all the needs, mm -hmm. so we thought, you know, we should help that out and, and do more. Well, I'm proud of you for doing that. I'm happy you. for you because I know when you need help and you yeah. need some treatment and you mm -hmm. hear, well, we can't work you in or we can't get to you for a while, yeah. that can be very hurtful for the patients. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get to the fun part, though. Yes. The Easter egg hunt yes. that is coming up, include mm -hmm. Ozarks, of course, is behind this. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen at this Easter egg hunt? Who's it for and how does it work? Yeah, so we uh, really strive to serve children with special needs who maybe aren't mm -hmm. able to participate in a typical environment for an Easter egg hunt. So we have different opportunities for children of varying abilities to be able to come and enjoy with their whole family. So we want the whole family to come and enjoy. Whether the siblings have special needs or not, they can come as well. Low sensory environment, so we make sure that um, you know there's not a lot of crowd, a lot of noise. They sign up for times so oh. that we decrease that, mm -hmm. that crowd. And then we have a lot of um, options that are non-food related so that those children with major food allergies and things like that don't have to worry about that either. Either. Ah, okay, so mm -hmm. you actually sign up for a time, which is something that a lot of us parents wouldn't think of yes. unless there is a child that has that sensory issue mm -hmm. that, that a lot of noise like that can just be way too overwhelming. Absolutely. You know, you think about bounce houses and cotton candy mm -hmm. machines and all that noise going on at one time, plus all the people, it can get really overwhelming for a child that has sensory sensitivities and things like that. So would it be, or does it just depend on the child? In other words, there may be the child with a couple of helpers go along, or could you have a group of three or four, just depending on how Oh, yeah. Yeah, families sign up however they wish. So if they've got a group that they want to sign up with, they can try and, and sign up at the same time so that they can all go together. Sure. And it looks like a couple of pictures you had there. One of the photos appeared to be inside. Another photo appeared to maybe be outside. Yes. Is, does it kind of depend on what the weather does on that particular day? Well, our very first event we had outdoors, but then we were so lucky to have the Shrine part partner with us. So we, now we have our events at the Shrine Mosque. And oh, so it's nice. all indoors, so we don't have to worry about weather or wind. That first event was quite funny because it was windy and the eggs were just flying everywhere. So oh. it's nice to be indoors where we don't have to worry about those a things. A little more climate control yes. never hurts anything, especially <laughs> when you've got a lot of kids involved. Now, is this something that kids need to sign up for, parents need to sign up for, or is it something you just show up to? They should sign up. We have a, an Eventbrite uh, page where you can sign mm -hmm. up. You can go to our, our Facebook page and the link is there in the event to sign up and they definitely need to pick a time and get a ticket for everyone that's coming not just the child. Is there a cost involved for the tickets? No cost. What a All nice free. thing to do. Yeah, we're excited. Okay, so when and where is this going to be held? It's soon. Mm -hmm. It is. It's April 20th at the Shrine Mosque from 11 to 3 o'clock. Okay, the Sensory Safe Easter Egg Hunt. And once again, where can people go? What is your website if people mm -hmm. want to take a look or your Facebook page or where they can find yeah. more information? Includeozarks.org is our website. And then our Facebook page is just Include Ozarks, and they can find us there. Okay, very yeah. good. And this is your third year to do it. It's third obviously year. a lot of fun, and everybody benefits, families Absolutely. particularly who need it. Melanie Stinnett, yeah. thank you so much. Thank good you. Good talking to you. You too. All right, coming up, we are heading over to the kitchen to see what Kim brought with her from McAdoodle. She brought us another goodie. Stick around. We'll be right back.